Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the farm. Bit of excitement here this afternoon. So I got a frantic phone call. Actually, I got three frantic phone calls right in a row. I didn't answer the first two because I was already on the phone with somebody else. But the third time I picked up the phone was when the wife texted, there's an emergency at the farm. And uh, turns out she came home. This ewe right here, this is uh, a ewe lamb that was born last year. We're going to breed her this fall, hopefully, is the plan. Was down, flat out, and foaming at the mouth, and bleeding from the back end. And uh, so that could be that could be a couple of different things. But my first my first thought was uh, maybe got caught by the ram and uh, and aborting. And secondly, could be an up, uh, a digestive upset and causing her to to go down, and then subsequently crows and magpies and all that picking at her rear end. So, anyways, I got home as fast as the speed limit would allow because, you know, just as I was pulling out of Grand Prairie, an unmarked police car pulled out and he drove clear all the way to Beaver Lodge at 108 kilometers an hour. So, we got here when we got here. Anyways, Carmen had her in the barn and uh, she was up and down a little bit but really didn't have a lot of energy but was still enough to run. And that's that's a tricky thing with, with sheep because they are uh, they're so good because they are a prey animal. They're so good at hiding when they're sick. I mean, obviously, you know, you, you, they can't hide it when they're, you know, flat out in the field and foaming at the mouth kind of thing. But, you know, they, they, they don't want anybody to know that they're sick because that naturally you're just gonna go for that one, right? So oftentimes you don't realize you have an issue with one of these until, yeah, like they're, they're just, it's Tuesday one day and you're like, gosh, darn it, we got a dead sheep. Anyways, got her in here and uh, got her up. We kind of just threw the fridge at her a little bit. We got her some dewormer in case, you know, there's a rumen upset that's caused by some type of parasite. And then uh, we also give her a shot of antibiotics because if there was, you know, anything, like again, if the ram had gotten in with the, with the ewe lambs and she was aborting or anything like that, is there anything going on the back end? Because she is bleeding from the back end. Then... Uh, could take care of that business um and then gave her a beer we have some uh due north beer from i don't even know what brewery that is it's absolutely terrible beer absolutely worse than molson canadian brutal so we got a few cans of that floating around and i just refuse to drink it but it'll do it'll do for the sheep just to get their room and back going doing what it's supposed to be doing and then uh and then got her some fresh hay and a bit of grain and we'll just Keep an eye on her for now. Everybody's coming in to say hi, some lamby lambs. <clears throat> anyway, so that's our excitement for the day. And uh, she's pooped, she's peed, she's eaten. I think uh, I think we got there just in time. If we'd probably been an hour, maybe two hours later, would have been a different story. But anyways, <clears throat> we did look at her back end and what was interesting was that, yeah, it was all chewed up and also right in behind between her eye and her ear was chewed up so that's not a dog that's not a predator that's a scavenger that is a crow 100 percent. so i think she went down from a gastric upset and then subsequently the crows like vultures right they just come in and they just eat you from the ass inside out essentially which is just an absolutely horrible way to die so we'll keep her in for a few days keep an eye on her and then let her back out with her buddies again well interestingly enough i just let marshall's over here the little dog i just took him out for a walk walked through the whole sheep pen out over here he was very well behaved didn't sniff at nobody didn't bark at nobody didn't didn't get bowled over no nonsense but i noticed there was some lambs crying and there was you somewhere she shouldn't be she's also somewhere she shouldn't be right now because apparently i left the gate open but uh, so we'll sort that out on with you I tried amateur hour. Anyways, old Thelma there was on the wrong side of the fence, so I think when uh, when Carmen went to get the ewes, the, the the ewe lamb in, put her in that little pen there. She said there was a bit of a it was a bit of an escapade. And I'm thinking Thelma must have somehow got out and got into the field and uh, blended in. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that a sheep could blend in with other sheep? But uh, thankfully. Bellering up against the fence, and uh, that alerted us to a problem. Anyway, she come back in here, and the first thing she went for is the uh, the old treat bin. So I got some grain and molasses mi mixed up there. And that's kind of 
Fun for the whole family, that stuff. Fun for all the ages. The ewes like it, the lambs like it. It's good, got, it's, you know, got their protein, it's got their molasses in there, uh, it's got all their minerals and stuff that they need. And uh, great for rumen development because they get a little bit of grain in there as well. So really is, really is fun for the whole family. We've also got this, this one pen. You can see I've got like a, a piece of corrugated tin on there and, and uh, a bale feeder, basically a square bale feeder parked up there. And I keep this pen empty and this is my, basically my creep feeder. So I got a little tub there with just some, just some, uh, actually just chicken feed that we get from Blooms, but it's all just, it's just grains, right? Peas, oats, barley, a bit of wheat. I think there might be canola or maybe sunflower seed. I can't remember what all is in there. I don't want to give away the recipe too quickly, but uh, the lambs can get through there and they can go and chew on their grain. And, uh, and the old greedy guts mamas can't come in and, and lick that all up before they get some. But you can see, you can see over there now, the lambs just, they just love that stuff. They love it so much that the one here on this side has got molasses all over its front hoofs. So it must have been right in the old, might have right in the old ice cream tub there. Anywho, I think it's time for me to head back to the house and fix up a cup of tea there. That, that wind has switched. It's funny, when I got home, the wind was coming out of the west and it was quite warm, but it's actually starting to cool off and the wind is coming out of the north here now. So we are going to get some much needed snow by the looks of it. Rumor has it, it might be three centimeters, it might be three inches, but uh, I really hope Mother Nature <clears throat> under promises and over delivers for once. Maybe we can get four to six inches, that'd be fantastic. A little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, whatever. I'll take moisture however we get it right now, to be honest. But uh, snow would actually be more welcome because things are so dry and with a bit of warmth that that cooler weather will help, you know, stay off fire season for a few more days, hopefully. But uh, it's time for a cup of tea. So I'm going to let you go for now. I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.